Hey, Lisa Martin on the ground with theCUBE at Google for the sixth annual CloudNow Top Women in Cloud Awards event. Our second year covering this. Very excited to be joined by tonight's MC, Becky Wanta, the founder of RSW1C. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you. It's Thank great you. to have you here. So tell us a little bit about what you do and your background as a technology leader. So I've been in technology for close to 40 years. I started out as a software I, Sorry, I don't even, what? <laughs> a long time ago, yeah. But what, what, so I started out as a developer back in the Department of Defense, and so it wasn't rocket science in the early days when I began, because it was back when computers took up whole rooms and I realized I had an affinity for that. So I leveraged that, but then I got into, at that time, and I'm from Northern California, if you remember right, Department of Defense was drawing down, and so I had put my, I decided I was going to leverage my experience in IT to get into either integrative financial services or healthcare, right? So I took over running all of tech for the money store at the time, which you would have no idea who that is. And then that got acquired by Wells Fargo First Union. So I took over as their global um, CTO for Wells Fargo. And what you'll see is, so let me just tell you about RSW1C because what it is is it's a technology consulting firm that, that's me. And the reason I have it is because tech changes so much and it's easy to stay current. And when I get brought into companies, and you'll look at me, so I've been the executive officer for tiny little companies like PepsiCo, Wells Fargo, Southwest Airlines. Small ones. Yeah, tiny, not, MGM Resorts International, the largest workers comp company in California, a company that, uh, a more mid-sized um, SMB in Southern California that just wrapped up last year. And when I get brought into these companies, I get brought in to transform them. It's at a time in the maturation of these companies, these tiny little brands we've mentioned, where they're ready to jettison IT. So I take that very seriously. And I, because I know technology is that gateway to keep that competitive advantage. And the beauty is of the companies I've mentioned, they're all number one in their markets. And when you're number one, there's only one direction to go. So they take that very seriously. How do you come in there and help a, an MGM Grand Resorts transform? So what happened in MGM's case, and probably in the last five CIO positions that I've taken, they've met me as a consultant, again, from RSW1C, and then when I look into what needs to happen, and I have the conversation, because everybody thinks they want to do digital transformation, and it's not an easy journey, and if you don't have the executive sponsorship, don't even try it at home, right? And so in MGM's case, you know, they had been talking, MGM's the largest tax, or, uh, taxpayer in Nevada, People think about it as MGM Grand. It's 19 brands on the Strip. Is that it's right? It's Bellagio, wow. MGM. So it's the biggest taxpayer in Nevada. So it owns 44,860 rooms on the Strip. So if I just count it down, you have Circus Circus, Slots of Fun, Mirage, Bellagio, uh, Monte Carlo, New York, New York, um, MGM Grand Las Vegas, MGM Grand Detroit. They're in the countries and so forth. So it's huge. And that includes Mandalay, Aria, and all those. So it's huge, right? And so in, in MGM's case, they knew they wanted to do M-Life, right? So M-Life game changed their industry, and I put that in. This will be our nine-year anniversary coming up on Valentine's Day. 30 years they talked about it, and I put it in with, the, with a great team, and that was part of the transformation into a new way of running their business. Wow, we have a couple minutes left. I'd love to, to get your perspective on being a female leader in tech. Who were your mentors back in the day? So, and, and who, who are your mentors now? So I don't have any mentors, I never did, because when I started in the industry, there wasn't a lot of women, and obviously technology was fairly new, which is why one of my passions is around helping the next generation be hugely successful. And one of the things that's important is, you know, in the space of tech, it's, I, I like this mantra, I'm on this mantra that says, how about brains and beauty? You know, how about you get you in the door? How about how about having the confidence yourself? So I want to help a lot of the next generation be hugely successful. And that's what Jocelyn has built with Cloud Now and her and Susan. And I'm a big proponent of this because I think it's a chance for us to give back and help the next generation of leaders in a non-traditional way be hugely successful in brands and companies to that, that are going to unleash their passion and show them how to do that. Because the good news is I'm a total bum. Lisa, I've never had a job. I love what I do and I do it around the clock. So, oh, if only more people could say that. That's that's <laughs> so cool. But, but what we've seen with Cloud now, this is our second year covering it. Uh, I love talking to the winners and even yeah. the, the folks that are keynoting or or helping to sponsor scholarships. Right. There's so much opportunity. There really and is. And it's so exciting when when you can see someone who's whose life is changing as Correct. a result of finding a mentor or having yeah. enough conviction to say, you know what, I am interested in, in a STEM field and I'm going to pursue that. So right. we thank you so much, Becky, for stopping by theCUBE and your career is 
amazing. <laughs> Thanks, And Susan. I'm sure you, ha you probably are mentors to countless, countless men and women out there. Absolutely. Well, thanks again for stopping by. Thank you, Lisa. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you for watching theCUBE. I'm Lisa Martin on the ground at Google with the Cloud Now, uh, sixth annual Top Women in Cloud Awards event. Stick around, we'll be right back.